big moment in somebody's career that you know usually there's a, a welling up of emotion somewhere down the line yeah at some point the emotion has to come out he looks completely in control but uh, he rack 25 what an achievement okay to break what an achievement for somebody nine who's racks to 15 lived in the shadows of some of the greats within the game settle down then please yeah, his to finally have his moment on his home territory. I mean, you know, it's a dream. He's just got to sort of keep all those emotions under, yeah. under wraps just for a couple more racks. And we've seen some big time celebrations on this uh, final before in the past. Earl Strickland, remember him getting on the table? Yeah. In 2002. And, and uh, Alex Pagulayan jumping up on top of the side of the set and, and dancing. And Wood Setching, you know, raising his cue and the bridge at the same time. And once again, Suke getting the standard roll off his break and no shot on the one ball. Well, some days, Ralph, it's just not your day, mate. But, you know, Ralph has had a tremendous year. He won the, the BCA in Las Vegas, won the Derby City, which is a tough right. tournament, and then he won the World Pool Masters for, what, the 15th time, probably? Yeah, he's had a great <laughs> year until now. I think he's won the World Pool Masters six times Yeah, now. five or six times. Owned that event. I think uh, if at the start of the week you'd have asked either player would they have settled for second place, they would have bitten your hand off. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, once you're in the final, different story. Yeah. There's so many great players to get to get anywhere near the final stages. It takes a, a great deal of top-class play, a bit of luck, lots of nerve. Suke cannot afford to turn this table over with a shot. And yet he can't afford to push out to a, a situation so tough that he can't handle it. Sometimes you've seen the Filipinos would go would kick off two rails and try and catch the one and use the eight and the nine to snooker their opponent behind. But I think that's what you're going to find Suke doing. Well, it must be the fact that the rest of the table is pretty open that he couldn't afford to do that. But there is some some insurance in as much as the black eight is only available into one pocket uh, he was just looking at putting the cue ball behind the five for a, a jump but that's not a good option when you've got a man who can jump the ball like Alcano what do you say you give him a long draw on this one so I think he's, he's yeah. got to hit the ball he's two cushions he can't give up a push here two cushions trying Get a good snook. Oh, one cushion. Uh -oh. Did he? Oh, watch out for the scratch. Shot. One hand. Now he's just got the insurance of the eight to rely on. Misjudged that by Settle down, half please. a ball at least. Wanted to hit two cushions first. I think the one goes past the five. Yes. Precariously placed that. Tell me, here's a rule for you. you yes. Put, you put the cue ball on the table in yes. a position like this, right yes. by the lip of the pocket. Yes. Okay? Yes. And as you start to cue up, you pull yeah. the cue back, and the ball falls in the, <laughs> into the pocket. <laughs> Tell me the rule. Well, Somebody go run after Mikita right now. <laughs> you've, you've caught me short, but I, I, I don't believe it would be counted as a... It is. It's a foul. Jay, Jay's, uh, Jay Helfer, Jay's the in the motor says it's it's a foul. Jay's in the building says it's a foul. At least in Jay's tournaments it is. I was thinking that it would not have been considered in play until the player strokes it, and therefore the referee would recreate it and put it back on the table. Well now. Now, our head referee has chimed in on this, Michaela, and love call, says confusion. that if it stays there for five seconds or longer, seconds. it is not a foul, five and she would replace seconds. it. Exactly but if it falls seconds. right in, what? it would be. Four so seconds. Somebody better be counting. <laughs> for about four and three quarter seconds. I mean, you know, when it gets down to numbers, you know, five seconds, who's counting? Meanwhile, at this rack. Yeah, pardon us for <laughs> wandering. <laughs> 
It looks like... <laughs> the reason why we're wondering is that the, the big shot comes up yeah. after this. Yeah. That's where they, how, how he's going to separate the eight and the nine. Well, he, could he do it now? Yeah, yeah I, would, I would separate it now. It's risky, but as long as he's got a clear queuing path and he's not hampered by a ball, perhaps this is the time. Otherwise, he can't guarantee getting good ang a good angle. Oh, the power strip. That's a great oh, shot. Oh, Watch the out, the eight ball could get in the way of the shot on the seven. It could go down. Oh, my goodness, what a shot. It's the, worse. The luck, it's worse. The luck is rolling. No. Why do you say it's worse? If it's a worse scenario. Okay, tell me why. If the eight ball stays over the pocket, yeah. he just you. dumps the seven onto the eight. Nice He's got the easy position. Please. He's now hampered by the nine. This is missable. Probably okay. still get it. He's been queuing great, but he's yeah. now a bit more missable. I'm sure he'll get it, but that's not the point. He's trying to draw. Yeah, he is. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. The charmed life of Ronnie, so Ronnie Alcano continues. This shot is more or less wrapping the things up, isn't it? This it, it really is. Listen to the crowd if he makes this one. Yes. Oh! Well, it was never automatic. He's breaking next. Thank you. He hasn't Quiet, gone please. errant often. That would have put Alcano on the hill. Instead, it put Suke into double figures. Twitch. Oh, the that, things that happen in the latter part of a match. That squirted on him. That squirted on him. Oh, just a little bit of movement. Yeah, there was some movement in his head. <laughs> 